This is the new Google My Map that is at the Fiber Network Alliance's website under the member mapping site. You can actually see the My Map up. It does have the menu on the side. Uh, what we see actually is a map that has all the member locations. The map, when you are working with it in the Network Alliance's website, it'll show up by default looking like this. What we see is a map, uh, obviously with a menu on the left-hand side, and what you can see on the main screen are the classic Google icons. Those access this layer here that's checked on for members. If you don't very carefully, it'll say 43 more. Clicking that actually gives you all the members that are currently in the association and you can use the scroll bar alongside to move up and down. Move around, you can actually use your, I'm clicking and dragging as far as tools go with a mouse. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's up here in the center of the screen. These little icons down here, when you the plus zooms you in, negative zooms you out, if you're happening to use, have your mouse over the screen and you use a scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out, grab, move, use the scroll wheel to do that on any of these maps. There's a little description about the Fiber Network Alliance. You can click this little carrot next to it to expand it uh, to give you more access to reading more about the details of what each map is about. And that's true even at the member maps. Um, you, we have a second layer on here that's unchecked. And what that is, is if you click that one, that's the Network Alliance's POP location for everybody that we've currently got the PO location, POP locations for. So is actually, you have to click that on. This is actually a map within a map. Any one of these icons that you either click on the screen or over here on the category uh, in the menu over here, it'll bring up a listing uh, for the map for the individual. In this case, it's the city of Griffin. The company name is city of Griffin. Contact information, chief information officer, Jack Poland his email, office number, and then I just want to draw your attention to this little map link, live link here. This takes you to, it'll open another, it'll open another tab, and in it, now we're seeing the individual map for the city of Griffin. And that actually has on the home office, the contact people, the POP locations, and this is where you'll actually get access to the fiber lines. So clicking on any of these, either on the map or over here, brings up just the information on that particular thing that you've clicked on. Once again, I want to make sure you look for scroll bars. Uh, one of the interesting things when you're using the scroll bar is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a little icon over to the side here, and that's for changing the base map, this area in the background, to satellite view. So you can click that on or off uh, just so that you can see the whole thing in satellite view if you want to really zoom in close and see what's actually there on the ground. You can do it on a workstation or mobile, but it can be, as at this point in time, shared via Facebook, Twitter, and email. And then notice the embed on my site option here. What you'll also see here, so if we click that off, is a system, just because this is set up to run on mobile, you'll see the typical icons of dots and slashes to get more options. You can copy this map and it'll copy over to um, your Google Drive. This is particularly uh, interesting if you want to just copy your member map. Uh, another thing you can do is print the map. There's your print options. You've got a paper option. You can turn it into 
portrait or landscape, and the outputs are a PDF or an image, uh, and it'll print. This is very cool. You can embed the map. So this map, this embed code, uh, for those of you that are familiar with the web or have a web designer, it t basically tells you to embed this map in your own website. So if you want to, as a member, embed your own individual map on your website, you just cut and paste this uh, into your web page. And it's basically, for those who are familiar with it, it's an iframe code. It'll link back to that map. One key thing I should say is if you look at these two numbers, width and height, it'll, if you change these, you can change the display of the map or the size of the map on your website. What that star does, if you mouse over it, it's off by default when you come in and you're looking at the individual mind map for the member. If you star it, okay, and you have a Google Gmail account um, and you open up in your individual Gmail account or if you have one for your company, you open up Maps. So now I'm in Google Maps. All right, um, we still have a lot of the same cap capabilities that are there in my maps, but in addition, you've got interactive stuff to search. If you see the menu item up here, um, and the other thing, I guess you, I could say you got directions, but um, you, you see the menu item up here. If you click at it, you can go down, and there's all it expands. You go down, and you'll see all kinds of options. Your places. So in your places, you're going to find the places you labeled, the places you saved, the places you visited, and the maps that you've starred. So we starred the city of Sandersville. Once again, we starred it. So now back over in Google Maps, it's appearing under your places. If I click on it, the city of Sandersville map pops up. But what it also has now that we're over here is we can zoom in. We can change this to satellite view so you get an idea of what the background or what's there. So let's say we want to look at a few things in here uh, to get a better idea of what's on the ground. This little icon down here in the right hand corner, it's the street view icon. So you could either click on it and it turns on all the street view and what they call photosphere lines. And so you can click, then click down in any area. Like in this particular case, there's the home office. If I wanted to get a, a street view of what that looks like, I could click there. And now I'm down on the ground looking at Sandersville in street view. So this is just one of the great features of my map so that you can actually take the content that you have in a my map, very quickly move it over without having to have a separate window or anything and just put it in Google Maps. Uh, one of the things I also want to draw your attention to, if you use Street View, um, there is a historic Street View. So this one was shot in 2012. Uh, that's appearing here. So if we wanted to see what it looks like in 2014, actually that's 2014. If we want to see 2012, see the truck's gone now. Now we're looking at it in 2012. Depending on how many times you've been shot, this might go back for 10 years. Because you're in Google Maps, uh, you can actually share or embed this as, this image as well. So we've been, if you want to open in My Maps, you can just hit this button. It'll take you back over to My Maps. Another key thing here, or a very useful option, is you can download any of the data that's in these maps. Uh, both your individual member or the main membership map. You click the download KML link and you've got two options. One is keep data up to date with a network link. Okay, and this is, only works if you're online. And what that means is that whatever information you're getting is provided by a live link to the map. If you don't want to do that, uh, you can export it as a KML file. What that does is you can, if I click this, and it, I can export as a KML file, either the, and see the note, the drop down here menu where 
you expand it, you can take the whole entire map, the Network Alliance POP, which is this other layer over here, and or the members. So if you just wanted all the POP locations, you would export just the Network Alliance POP, okay, for the entire network. Uh, if you don't choose export as KML instead of KMZ, all KMZ is, is the Z stands for zipped. So it's a KML file that's zipped. Um, and as it says, it does not, if you don't use the KMZ, you might not have all the icons that are on it.